Yo, what is up, YouTube? I'm Blitz5, and today I want to talk about video games in general and what games I'm going to be playing this summer and in the future. So I've been thinking about this a lot, especially because I just made this video called Is Battleborn Dead? And I was really into that game, and the community kind of died out. If you haven't seen that video, definitely uh, check it out. It's pretty interesting, and it makes me think a lot about video games and the community as a whole and some of the issues that I'm having with the games that came out and the longevity of like online multiplayer, even co cooperative mode. So, for example, the last three games that I purchased well, including Rocket League, the last four games I purchased would be The Division, Battleborn, and Doom. And Doom launched with not the best multiplayer community, and that game had a lot of um, like mixed reviews. So I don't think a ton of people picked the game up, but I really enjoyed it for a campaign. But campaigns just really don't intrigue me the same way they used to when I was growing up. I've kind of come to the realization that multiplayer is what really gets me hooked onto games and i have a really hard time actually finishing campaign games like right now i'm on level seven or eight of the campaign for doom and there's about 12 12 levels and i don't know if i'll really be able to finish that entire campaign i'm really trying hard to get through it but a lot of times i play one level and then i kind of get bored and i get off and then i kind of have the need to play something like Call of Duty or the Doom multiplayer or something more fast paced because that's really what I uh, get the most enjoyment out when I'm playing video games. And I don't really have that at this this time, but going back to what I was talking about, so then Battleborn kind of provided that. It was a really fun, you know, semi fast paced shooter MOBA style, so people had a lot of health and the games lasted long, but the actual like moment to moment gameplay was a lot of fun and, and pretty much fast paced, but that community kind of died out and the game just wasn't fully polished. It, it's, it's a great game, but it's just not fully there. And then same thing with The Division. The game was really fun for co-op and playing the story mode, but I have no interest playing the MMORPG style end game of that game, The Division, for over a couple months, let alone a year. And you can kind of see that. I think most of the community agrees because I read somewhere that like 93% of the player base has left The Division, and that's supposed to be a game that the publishers planned on making like the division that would last for years. I mean, uh, Destiny. And Destiny's come back, but they had the same kind of vision with the division that that game would last a very long time. And it's just not there. And I don't know if this is like a DLC paywall kind of thing or developers just aren't really putting enough time into one game. I always said that I, th I thought the division cannibalized themselves. They took away market share and gamers by coming out with Rainbow Six Siege and the division within like the same three or four month span, which to me was a terrible idea. And I, they really can blame nobody but themselves for them not being successful. But the people that are getting hurt are people like me who want to play these games and I'm spending so much money. And I'm trying to be a normal gamer and purchase a lot of games, but it, I have the tendency to go back to my original ways where – you know, after growing up, I would play so many video games. I'd buy every game that came out and play them and play them and then and then be like, oh, man, I wish I had more time to play this game. Or maybe buy a game and not even really play it that much. And then I went to this mode where all I did was buy Call of Duty and I played that for a whole entire year. And then when a lot of people left Call of Duty, I didn't have that game, so it kind of left a void in my gaming schedule. So then I went to League of Legends, which is the most played game in the world. There's always people playing, but it just doesn't have the same like addictive, fun qualities to me that feed my addiction for like FPS shooters, which is definitely my favorite type of game. Uh, you know, I like a lot of different kinds of games, but FPS shooters definitely be my favorite, like Halo and Call of Duty at the top of that list. So it's just interesting, and unfortunately, a lot of the decisions that Call of Duty's made has lost a lot of players, and my friends have, have lost trust in the game or even buying it. So there's a lot of hope that Battlefield 1 will be this great game, which I'm a little bit skeptical about, but that's not releasing to the fall. And now it's the middle of June, towards the end of June. So I'm trying to figure out what game do I want to play in the summer. Obviously, a lot of people slow down their gaming in the summer, but I'd like to have something that I can play. And then this is where Rocket League came into play. I got Rocket League because I could play casually with my friends, and a bunch of my friends have the game. But I don't see that something being a game that I would play competitively or, or put a ton of time to. It's just kind of fun to play and dick around in the game. But I, I definitely want to get back into something. Now it's, it's too late to kind of get back into Call of Duty, I feel like. I mean, maybe I could play Black Ops 3, but I'm not really sure. I could get into Overwatch. Same kind of dilemma, though, because... I'm going to be really stuck on Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty this fall. For sure, I'm going to be buying both games. So if I get Overwatch, I'm just spending another $60 for a game that's only going to last for a couple months. And for me, personally, my a lot of my friends don't have that game. But I'm sure you know the community is huge. I read, I read on 
somewhere online that they already hit like seven or eight million people. Actually, I think I got that from an investor report that Activision sent to me because I'm I invest in Activision. So they send out kind of investor reports letting people know how the company is doing and all the games that they release are doing. So I got that, and, and that's a huge player base. So you know that there's always going to be people playing. So those are the kind of games that traditionally I played were the most popular games, the ones that I know that my time isn't wasted. I could go back into the game. The community is always going to be there. And it, it kind of sucks because you want to support these smaller games or or publishers that you enjoy like Gearbox and Battleborn, but then you ultimately kind of get screwed because you spent the money and you spent the time that ultimately didn't amount to anything. So I don't really know. There's a bunch of different like subtopics that I'm bringing up in this video, but basically what I want to know is what game should I play right now? What game are you guys playing? And I'm not really sure. I can't really decide for myself. Uh, maybe I'll just hop back on Call of Duty. I went through some of my old footage and put together a tomahawk montage that really got me kind of in the mood to play Call of Duty again. So uh, maybe I could get some friends on and see what I can do with that. So uh, I guess we shall see. And then I heard that Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 is actually backwards compatible now on the Xbox One. So maybe I'll go back and play Black Ops. Who knows? I guess I just want to do something that is fun uh, and that I enjoy instead of playing a game um, that I'm kind of just trying to stick around with to see if it, it's good or not, kind of like Battleborn, um, which was fun. I don't want to hate on that game. I, I really liked it. I wish more people bought it. But anyways, that's basically the uh, topic of the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm not sure what game I'm going to put this to. I kind of just rambled on. just wanted to update you guys on what I'm going to be doing this summer. So we shall see what game is up next for me. As always, I'm Blitz5. Thank you for watching, and peace out.